if there was a game developer, if there was a, a, a indie game developer, let's make that clear. CIG is independent. If there was right. another independent game developer that had the gall mm-hmm. to do crowdfunding mm-hmm. and, and go for that level of ambition, then it will be it will be possible to give Star Citizen a run for its money, right? Because well, you, the you, problem you, is that's never going to happen because Star Citizen single-handedly ruined crowdfunding MMOs. Yeah, that's the point that I made earlier. You know, they're not gonna they're not gonna take on that. Nobody is gonna take on that undertaking because they're closely watching the person who, who invented it. Right. You see. They don't want to be because you think about it is like who is going to give another game developer another 400 million dollars for a game <laughs> good point good point that's a good point hmm. so the way i see it Star Citizen has no choice but to succeed. Yeah. And if it doesn't, Chris Roberts' name and reputation will be ruined forever. He will never be able to make another game title after this. Right. Anybody that has, they will, nobody will work with him. Right. He, I don't even think he, he realizes that, you know? Yeah, because you know sometimes when you 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 get to these uh, positions and stuff like that, certain things you know. Not to saying that this is the case. I'm just speaking general. It's like things go to the head. You lose sight of certain things. You know. Yeah. You, you know. You, you, your self awareness <laughs> goes out the window. Yeah. You know? But um, yeah, I don't think he realizes that how how important important and iconic his name is attached to this title yeah. and if, if Star Citizen goes belly up his reputation will be ruined right right that is true that is true and I think Omac even mentioned uh, I think a few days ago man we were discussing and he's saying that that's probably um the reason why he's we're hardly seeing him these days because he's trying to remove his name from you know i hope that's not the case but he's trying to remove himself from the project in a sense that way it's sellable yep you sell know? it to another producer yeah another developer you know so i don't know you think he's coming as far as long as far as he can go I don't know. You know, that's speculation, of course. But uh, right. You no, know, I don't know. The man's been at it for ten years. It's probably, you know, he. I don't know. He's either re- really excited about it and it's his life work, or ten years is starting to drag on him. Yeah. I think this is this. To be honest, I think this is his his life's work. I think this is his ultimate project, really. You know. Until you create that monster that's too big to put back into, you understand. Mm-hmm. Sometimes your 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 projects can be too big of an undertaking. It can become yeah. too overwhelming. You know, you, a lot of people can have good judge, uh, a good intentions, but very bad judgment. Mm-hmm. You see. Right. When they think it's like, okay, I'm going to just dig this little hole and then all of a sudden it's a cravat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's okay. right. You know? Right. It, it, right. Turns, it, it turns into a, a, a gaping cave. And then it's like, oh, man, what have I done? You know, right. what do I do? And th- that's really what it is, is the playing on, on his mind. Do I continue? Can I, can I actually pull it off? I'm pretty sure mm-hmm. he's had many nights. With, with, with the questions, can I do it? Can I actually do yeah. it? Can I do it? You yeah. know, now yeah. it's come setting in and then, you know, you're getting all of these uh, uh, 
mix uh opinions for different people all up in your mm -hmm. ear and then you know your media is gonna bash you beyond measure <laughs> oh yeah especially if you make this kind of money <laughs> <laughs> you know just like tupac said all eyes on me you know what i mean right right that's that's the, just the way it is but i'm saying you if you you should have known that coming in yeah you the one that made your title that ambitious you should have known what you was getting yourself into yeah because i'm like it just what what the old saying go if you build it they will come you right. built it we funded it this is what we wanted we, before yeah. star citizen was announced there was no none space genre games other than your little uh your rts uh games real-time strategy games and stuff like that it's like right. because of star citizen the start the 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 star uh a uh, space genre went through roof right right games galore you know look mm -hmm. <laughs> he'd even put a lit a fire up under frontier and got elite dangerous <laughs> all frisky yeah, I know. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? They come out with that. <laughs> you know what I mean? They would never go walking around like that. You know what I mean? That's true. That is true. 